Everybody, I want to introduce to you uh, Andy Byrne. He's a friend of mine who's the pastor of Upper Room Christian Fellowship in West Lafayette. And he's not the founding pastor of it, but he's only their second, like, real, you know, full-time pastor person, which means he had some big shoes to fill, especially because the uh, founding pastor is still at the church. And uh, that's, a, that's an intimidating assignment. Yeah. But one of the things that I find to be the coolest about Upper Room Christian Fellowship is just the tight-knit community that your church has always striven to be. And so, Andy, I want you to start by introducing yourself just a little bit. Tell us who you are, some things about your family, but then tell us about uh, the church and what does community mean in the context of Upper Room Christian Fellowship? Yeah, thanks, Jeff. Uh, so I, my name's Andy Byrne. I am married. Uh, my wife, uh, Shalyn, we've been married 25 years. Uh, this past June, it would come as no surprise, we did not get to do a, a good trip uh, in June. We have four kids. Uh, from grad school on down to a freshman in high school. And uh, I've been at the Upper Room for all of those 25 years, and the Upper Room is, uh, there's lots of different uh, aspects of it, but one of it is uh, the, it's very volunteer-oriented, lay leadership. Uh, and so we've been involved um, in leadership for all of those 25 years, but for most of that, I was a middle school history teacher. And we uh, led the uh, youth group, and we have led home groups, and I've even preached. But my full-time job was, uh, was in education. Six years ago, uh, the need uh, came to our leadership team that we needed to uh, have somebody else full-time. And so I became uh, full-time at that point in full-time ministry. And so that's a little bit about me and about the upper room but I would say uh, one of, and I would agree with you, I, it's nice to hear other people go, hey, you know what we see at your church is that th there is community. And, and even in our name, uh, there's no question in a biblical sense that our church is a church, an ecclesia, those who are drawn out of the world to gather periodically, hopefully several times a week, maybe even every day sometimes, um, but we call ourselves a fellowship because when our church was founded in the early 1970s, it was founded around this time period where there was revival going on, uh, there were miraculous things going on around Purdue University and in our community here, and there was a deep desire to, uh, throughout the week, gather with one another and not just gather together for songs, which was great, or teaching, which was good, um, but for fellowship, for relationship. And so that was how it was founded. And uh, in fact, they even founded it, um, first it was a prayer meeting, and then it was, you know, they'd have book studies and, and Bible studies, and they were always eating meals together in, in the early 1970s. And so that was the, the foundation of the upper room uh, coming together, and so we've tried to continue to do that. And so part of our uh, environment, our, um, our gathering, what defines us, is we even have a meal after every Sunday. We uh, eat, uh, 250, 350 people will stay after the service and will serve lunch, as well as m many of the midweek meetings, home groups, those will have meals. Uh, and so we've tried to continue not just meeting together once a week and not just meeting together for um, uh, teaching and worship, but really to be a tight-knit fellowship group. So, so what are the core elements then of the community that you're talking about? I heard you yeah. mention uh, lunch. I heard you mention uh, groups gathering. Do you have like um, an identifiable, these are the things that we do to yeah. strengthen our community? Sure, and just like you're going through the, your core values this, this month, we really find our core values in, in Acts 2, where the, uh, the believers devoted themselves, and that devote is a word that we're really, uh, as we move on to where we're at today, we're really uh, focused on. And so they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, so we want good biblical teaching, uh, and they devoted themselves to prayer, and so we want uh, to be devoted to that and to fellowship and then to breaking of the bread. And so those are the four aspects. And so any 
part of our meetings are usually focused around one of those four things that we find in Acts 2.